Traders Anthony here, we're going to take a look at gold. Okay, monthly chart. We've got this level back here, candle body, and then wick down to here. So what I'll do, I'll just grab that wick. Yeah, it it's coincides with these other two um, levels that I've got here, weekly and daily. So we know that that's a, a range, and it it's a monthly, weekly, and a daily. Okay, so we've wicked down to it, nearly touched it, spiked back up. Uh, this is a big level, higher time frame uh, accumulation. So we go down to the weekly. Always having a look at this from the higher time frame because it's going to be looking... See, see, see this candle here, for example, this one, this green candle. So what we got here is the low on the candle on the right, high on the candle left. So we're looking for this to fill this gap, basically. All right, so it trades down, trades down, okay, rebalance. This trading back into this, this zone back down in here. All right, big strong move, and then we get that. Now, if we want to look at it from that point of view, consider this uh, on the weekly. We've got this candle here as well. At some stage, this is going to look to trade back up to fill this gap, this thin candle here we're looking. There's nothing left and right of it. All right, so that's that. And then we go down to a daily time frame. I mean, that could take a while for that to come back up. Uh, you know, I mean, look, how long did it take for this to... You know, travel back down to this level here. I mean, it took you know quite a long time, weeks. <laughs> Just getting a bit of a, a feel for it on the higher time frame. We know that this is traded into a, a support level or a, an accumulation range. Looking looking back now, have a look at this price action here on the daily. Look at this. We've got this base form here. Break of well, it's not a break of stress. We've got this change in character. The trend. It's been trending down. Bit of a change of character. If we pull a line through here, bullish. Bit of a smile under it. It's called the smile pattern. <laughs> no, it's not. So we've got that. And uh, on the daily time frame, we have this thin candle here, right? Daily imbalance, bearish imbalance. And the candle above it as well. This candle here, right? So these two levels here, bearish imbalance. It's pushing down, nothing left and right of it. Right, and then above that we've got this four-hour level. Now, uh, going back now, we won't bother. So, just just keeping this in mind, I'm more interested in these levels above in here. All right, so let's just mark that up as a daily imbalance. Let's double-click that 1D. All right, and it's nested with this 4H. The other thing to note is this green candle up here, and I didn't mention this, but uh, we've got this accumulation range prior to this rally back in here so what i've done is i've just pulled this across here as a level of or a point of interest All right so these are three critical levels above the current price so let's go down to the 2h uh, four hour i should say have a look at this this price action under here well yeah you've got a bit of a double bottom thing here and then it spikes down and now we've got this run right so we've got this sort of bullish base forming and on the four hour chart all right this this level here four hour imbalance so this is this thin candle here just picking the candle left and right the heart the the low and the high pull it across all right so this this nested level here is definitely um, a point of interest now here's the thing right it's bearish without a doubt look at it and my rule of thumb in a trend is to go from the previous high the, this this distribution down and see the yellow zone on my fib right that's my well that'd be a key entry point the 61.8 fib level so i'm not interested in in getting involved down here but if i see this trade back up into these levels that's going to be my uh my cue now if that's the case i would run this on the four hour time frame but be careful from a four hour perspective, if I'm going to go short, right, I'll set up my uh, entry point somewhere in here like so. Stop loss above this previous four hour order block or even, you know, even higher. Go bananas with your risk reward. I always do that. Go to town with that. But in saying that, I'm always going to be looking to... By the way, guys, click the links below and uh, jump on board our Telegram group. If that's going to be my entry point, I'm looking for a one-to-one -one risk reward. This is my risk reward tool. And it happens to coincide with the high of this range down here. So that's going to be my target, target one. Grab that. And there is T1. And at T1, I'm going to be looking to take two-thirds at least if I don't close. I might, I might close, right? But that, that's my take on 
gold at the moment. Oh, this is, yeah, for our time frame. Look at this. And um, so you want to consider, if we look at this from the 4H, consider the uh, average true range. Uh, the indicator you can down, uh, you can uh, install that. Average true range indicator. And, I mean, if you're looking for a reasonably conservative or safe uh, stop loss range go two times the ATR on the four hour I mean that's generous and, and it generally works and I find I, I trade these four hour levels consistently and I do well with them occasionally you're going to get taken out because smart money will look to take out liquidity further above and we've got this daily level here so you know if you want to set it up on the daily your stop loss wants to go above that that's my take on gold, guys. I don't want to get involved short at the moment, but if we see a retrace back up into these levels, I'm interested. Yeah, comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading as always, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.